Okay. On top of this, the best feature for this now is you don't have your attendants coming into the office every five minutes when the tag gets rejected. With a new version, a rejection slip is actually printed in the kiosk for the cashier. So when a tag is rejected, it prints on his uh, slip printer, he sees what it is, he knows which pump, he knows which customer, he knows which vehicle. You can then call the attendant and say, sorry, that vehicle won't take any fuel, and the reason will be printed actually on the rejection slip, which might be a count over limit, the vehicle itself is over limit, the, you are trying to dispense the, the wrong grade for this vehicle, or tank capacity has been exceeded, or sorry, you, you can only get fuel on Monday again. That's very comprehensive. So, the yes, the, the controls are absolutely comprehensive now. And once you show these things to a customer and they actually experience it the first week or the first month that they're using this, they, they do not even argue when you go and ask for another 2,000 rand or another 5,000 rand deposit. And honestly, in the last year, I probably took in another 100,000 rand with absolutely no problem with the fuel price increases. And as a result, I do not suffer any cash flow problems. And I know you guys out there with the, with the big accounts do have this problem. And in essence, you are carrying that customer and on top of it, you are paying the ridiculous overdraft fees. Mm. And if you take all these costs into consideration, it almost is not worth having those accounts. Rather do lower volumes and actually have money in the bank. Mm. Okay. So what are some of the other features that you can usefully use? Right. The other feature which helped me a hell of a lot having such a big book was being able to invoice customers weekly or fortnightly. So and when I actually clicked how well this was working, I actually went out of my way to get as many of these customers onto two weekly or weekly payments because it does wonders for your cash flow. It's all, like I said earlier, it's, it's almost as good as cash. And most of them are now approximately at 60% of my debtors book paying weekly or, or fortnightly. I now only have approximately 40% of my customers paying monthly. And the beauty of it is that all, every single one of those does have a fully prepaid account. I don't carry not one monthly customer. The beauty of this also now is every Monday morning when I do my statements, it's a matter of pressing a button and saying, print me the weekly customers. The statements get printed, my lady puts on the slips and they get delivered on Tuesday morning and all those customers know that those accounts have to be paid before they reach their limit or otherwise quite simply that they're not going to get fuel. Right. In the beginning this did cause a, a bit of animosity but when the customers got to realize that these controls are there for their benefit even more than mine they accepted it totally and even now like I said two years down the line. If I ask a customer, sorry, you know, the, the, the prices have gone up the last three months in a row, uh, we need to increase your account by 2,000 rand because you're reaching your limiter, your limit a, a little bit quicker, uh, I have no problem getting that. Hmm. What's nice uh, also with the uh, newer versions, you can get yourself very lucrative fleet card business, okay. offering the customer the same features as if he had an account. And the bonus for you is that there is a cash account, and in fact on the system it's called a cash account. What you do is you uh, get a, a nice big fleet owner who runs his fleet on cards, you show him how you can protect the integrity of his card transaction with the system by linking a tag to his card. And the, the great benefit to you is, yes, you're getting the money the next morning. It's not an account. And you're getting that man's card business 
where he could be going anywhere with that card. Basically, you are getting his loyalty to your site and all of his card business. I have three huge card accounts on my site, and I can tell you that this is probably the best feature of the smart fuel system okay. uh, in the latest versions. Once again, after the first month or so, take the trouble of taking the first consumption report, the first variance report, and going to see your customer and show him what you have actually done for him and how, how you actually protect the integrity of his transaction. As we all know, fleet card fraud is the easiest thing to commit. It happens on all of our sites, even with the system. They do still try, but with a system you can order a transaction that happened months ago. And we have caught people with a system. The proof is beyond doubt. Dismissal is not a problem. And it has proved 100% successful. Okay. The, one of the greatest things about the system as well, when I decided to buy a service station, I'd never used a PC in my life before, was how quickly I got to learn to use it. And I have to tell you, the best way to learn how to use this thing is actually use it. You've spent a lot of money on it, the thing must work for you now. You know? It's got to give a return for what you have laid out. And besides that, it's got to make your life a bit easier. That's why you laid the money out in the first place. I use the system to manage my site fully. We uh, have more than one back office machine, which would ultimately depend on the size of your site. Uh, I prefer to have a, a machine basically for each one of us that works in the back office. That would be myself, my wife who does all the stock and shop control. And then I can actually, with a system, trust a manager. Or senior supervisor. Why I say this is that each person who uses the system has his own login and password. So if something was done that you are not happy about, you can always go in and look at the logs and see exactly who did that. And obviously the responsible person has to look after his own password and login. By having this system, in the three years I've been here, or in the three years I've actually been using it, I've never had a fraudulent transaction being done in the back office. I, my supervisor has his own uh, password and login, and he, I can set him up on the back office to be able to do only certain functions. Obviously, I'm not going to let him override a debtor's account or change a price. I don't, obviously don't let him print the statements or do manual invoices from the back office or even post payments. That would obviously be my own or my wife's uh, input. So you can control actually what people can do on this back office system. But what it also means is that it, it takes half, half of the responsibility or half the work off your shoulders. You can now actually trust someone else to do that and you know that they if they do do something wrong or do try something, you are going to see it as soon as the next day because everything must balance. What I do on a daily basis, first thing when I get in in the morning, is use a magnificent little tool called Debtors Over Limit, which tells me straight away who is actually going over the limit and this is done whether I have the, the account ticked as apply limit or not so even the guys who are obviously you have some big customers who you know pay very well and you built up a, a, a good history of this customer and you trust them by going over a little bit in my case it's uh, weekly customers who do big volumes and they do tend to go over a little now and again and because they are very loyal customers and if I do phone and say you know you're slightly over I basically get a payment the next day 
this this report then actually tells me what deposits that customer has got, what his limit is, the title that he's actually sitting on, and the difference that he's actually over. So I can see on a specific day exactly how much money I'm carrying. And do I really need to get on the phone now and start phoning and asking for checks, or is it not that bad I can wait another two or three days because, yes, these guys will be paying soon. Um, then there's also, of course, the accounts that you know you have to limit all the time, the guys that uh, unfortunately you have to or had to previously beg for your checks and beg for payments and now you have the control. And uh, it's good to set an example. Uh, after all, it is your money. You have already paid for that fuel. The customer's already used it. It's gone out of his vehicle's exhaust. And uh, if he isn't going to pay you, there is actually legally no way you can recover that money. Mm, I see. So you as the owner obviously will know who these guys are. And for those guys, you apply the limit. If the guy has a 4,000 rand limit, you apply that limit. And you can sleep at night knowing that if he comes there when you're not on site and he was to have his vehicle filled up and there's 23 rand and 25 cents available, the pump will stop and you will not get a litre more. Thanks for that very informative talk on some efficient ways to improve productivity, John. Also, to capture paid up account clients and control them for mutual benefit to you as a fuel supplier and to the client. We'll continue later with some more points where one can use smart fuel to be in better control of other areas of fuel station management.